Welcome to the assessment policies and requirements for year 11, 2021. Uh, within the booklet is all the information that all our students need for a successful year 11 and into year 12. The HSC is a world-class credential. It's not an easy journey and we are here to support all our students who've moved from year 10 into year 11. There are lots of stresses along the way and a lot of the questions and answers to some of the issues are um, held within the slides and within the assessment booklet that all of our students have now been given. The HSC at Henry Kendall, we are a very proud school who has a strong reputation at, at attaining excellent HSC results both for our students who move on to university and students who have other pathways. <clears throat> we rank as one of the top comprehensive high schools on the Central Coast for many years. The HSC at our school caters for all students. There's non-academic pathways and are as important as the academic ones. Uh, we work hard as you do, but we can't do it for you and this is a commitment. And we talk a lot about commitment at our school in that if we do our best and we get band six, that's fantastic. We are just as proud as if we do our best and we get band threes and fours. It's all about personal best. Students are now at a stage of their education that follows very strict rules and processes. And it's really important that all students are very familiar with all of the information in their assessment booklet that all students now have received. Some very simple tips that will help everyone on the road to the HSC. Really important time organisation. Ask for help, particularly for classroom teachers. We've already spoken a lot um, that year 11 with myself and their classroom teachers about how important it is for them to know exactly what they've got to do for each task and to understand and apply the marking criteria. Covering misadventures is very ne necessary. We can't do anything without uh, paperwork and if a student misses an assessment task that can have a overall negative impact obviously on their results. The support crew at Henry Kendall includes the wonderful year advisor, Miss McLennan, student services, myself, Miss James and Mr Backhouse and of course all the incredible teachers and head teachers. Finding a balance though is really important. To be eligible to go on to the HSC, students must satisfy at least 12 units in year 11. Um, that if they, to satisfactorily complete the requirements for each course study, both school and NESA requirements, including all practical or project work, complete all of the set tasks, the school design task for internal assessment program. Um, sit for and make a genuine attempt <coughs> at all year 11 examinations. That includes, as I've spoken to Year 11, there has to be a genuine um, impact within their study. Even if they are dropping a particular course, they must satisfactorily complete all elements of that particular course. In circumstances where attendance is unsatisfactory, no record of school achievement will be issued. All cases of attendance below 85% will be examined. The student will be considered to have completed the course, not completed the course, um, if their, their uh, attendance is below 85% and there is also of course problems with achievement in terms of assessment tasks. But if they've applied themselves with diligent and sustained effort to all set tasks and experiences set by the school and if they've made a genuine attempt at assessment tasks which together contribute to more than 50% of the final course mark. But as I said to Year 11, we expect all students to complete all assessment tasks to the best of their ability. So therefore they are opening up the chance to receive the mark that they deserve. In such evidence, in such evidence does not exist, the school will apply an N indicator for the course and they will not um, be listed in students' record achievement. If the student has less than 12 units as a HSC, the student will not be eligible to go on to the HSC course. School-based assessment contributes to 100% of Year 11 and 50% of the final HSC result. The HSC assessment policy will be applied consistently and surely by the school. Therefore, you must know its details and its requirements. Um, all students have been told that this assessment booklet should be with them at all times. They should be continuously checking when they have assessments and what part of the assessment they should be focusing on. 
The assessment booklet um, contains the assessment policy, the NESA requirements for the HSC and assessment schedules for each course. The assessment booklet is accessed through the HSC H Henry Kendall High School website um, if it's not able to be accessed by the student. Assessment booklets provide detailed schedules for all the courses. Final schedule, scheduling will occur, will occur at least two weeks prior to the due date. At this time, a written notification will be issued detailing requirements, marking outcomes and marking guidelines. It's been stressed to all our students that when they get this notification, they must read it clearly. They must be able to understand every single part of that notification. And if they need clarification, they need to ask the classroom teacher immediately. And that it is important that they do all practice tasks and get marking and feedback before the actual task, because they need to know where they, they um, can improve and get the maximum marks for each task. Students should not plan absences during the term time unless there is exceptional circumstances. In general, the taking of holidays will not be considered as an exceptional circumstance. Year 11, there's three tasks. There is a minimum task weighting of 20% and a maximum task weighting of 40. Um, there is an option for only one formal written style task. Mandatory components and weightings will be indicated on all of their assessment schedules. The, um, where we have talked about the formal written examination, there will be lots of other tasks that students will be um, asked to complete, like reflection statements, project work, etc. All students will be provided with meaningful feedback relating to assessment tasks undertaken. Feedback needs to be constructive and provide meaningful information to you about your learning in a variety of forms focuses on the outcome of the task and corrects misunderstandings, identifies and reinforces strength, provides information about how you can improve and facilitates the development of, and provides opportunity for self-assessment and reflection during the learning process and informs future learning opportunities. I spoke um, with Year 11 at length about the, the importance of feedback, but feedback is most important before the task. So wherever an opportunity arises, students must make sure that they complete all activities that will enhance the overall task for the assessment when that time comes so that they can maximise their learning and um, marks. If a student has a grievance with an assessment, with um, regardless whether it is the application of the assessment or the mark, then they need to speak with um, first of all, their classroom teacher and then the head teacher of the faculty. Where there still remains difficulties, the student um, or teacher should bring the matter to the HSC review committee, which consists of the deputy principal, the year advisor, and the head teacher of the faculty involved. Unless specified otherwise, assessment items are to be submitted to the teacher before or at the beginning of the due date. Assessments must be submitted by the due date and time. We spoke also with Year 11 about when you are doing tasks, the best way to ensure that your tasks are kept um, and you don't have a technology problem is of course to email it to yourself. And if the task is due at 8.30 in the morning, or 9, 9.05, whatever the time is, it must be in before that time. No marks will be issued for late assessments. This can only be changed with the submission of an accident, illness or misadventure form with um, an appropriate documentation. For every task a student is absent from, a full written explanation must be provided through the submission of an illness, accident and misadventure form. The form must be supported by a doctor's certificate or a, or a stat deck. This form must be submitted on the first day back at school and it is the student's responsibility to ensure that they communicate with their teacher and head teacher for the completion of that task. The HSC review committee will determine the outcome of the submission of any paperwork in an illness, accident or misadventure um, form. Uh, computer problems or printer malfunction is not an acceptable reason for failing to submit a task on time. All students must ensure that their, ta that their tasks are completed, printed and are submitted on time. 
if there is a problem, then that does not um, allow for extra time on any task. So we also spoke to students about emailing teachers tasks um, or making sure that they always give themselves plenty of time to come to school and organise printing of tasks. Where an assessment item is um, to be completed over more than one day, students are to be prepared to complete the assessment item from the first nominated lesson. This then makes it all fair for all students, whether they're called up first or last, um, and it also um, stops any problems of students picking up extra points um, or ideas from anyone else's presentation. If a student is on suspension from school at a time the assessment is due, then it is their responsibility that the task is submitted on the due date and there is no circumstances does a suspension entitle a student to submit the task after the due date. Uncompleted assessment items. Nesta expects students to complete all assessment tasks as we do at our school. Students who fail to submit coursework and or assessment tasks, the total value of which not is not to exceed 50% may be considered to have not completed the course and an N award may be applied. HSC examination rules apply to all formal exams, school rules apply to all other tasks. Failure to observe these may result in the student being disqualified from the award from the awarding of the marks. Students who plagiarise material including from the internet may um, it may result in the disqualification from the award of mark in that task. HSC results versus ATAR. The HSC is a mark and the ATAR is a rank. Students should be striving to be in the top five of each subject and the top 10% of the state. Um, UAC also considers the percentage of students who you beat in the HSC when calculating the ATAR. The table demonstrates that. As you can see, that students appear to have very, very similar marks um, and there's only 10 marks difference, but the, the uh, increase in the ATAR, the rank, comes from the percentage of which the student has beaten in the HSC. Although marks differ by only 10, the ATAR differs by 27.75. Andrew's performance is better than only 30 to 40 of other students, whereas Aaron performs better than 61 to 82% of students. Hence, the ATAR is affected significantly. In summary, assessment is vitally important. Please, everyone read the policy carefully, adhere to the requirements of the policy the school, um, the school has given you. If in doubt, ask. All the best of luck, Year 11, for 2021 and this Year 11 journey.